Finish my thing real quick. Yeah, I'll go downstairs. What? Left trash in there. So we needed to make some more dark stone. So we can make some more of these. So we can make one more of those. So that we can make one of these. Bam. And we have in our possession 500 and 12 or 312 million. Should we put it here? No? Where should we put it? Okay. You want to pop that one off? Which one? Uh, this one? Yeah. Let's see. Bam. Not supposed to be. It should be insert, and that should be extract. Look at that. 312 million RF. That's stupid. What is it? Tiny dagger? Used to obtain mob chunks. Oh yeah, we need mob chunks for... What the frick? Did you make me two of them? I did make you one. What? That was weird. Alright, so... Next thing we're gonna do is set up the woot farm. Here's 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 the thing. I was originally gonna put the loot farm over where the smell tree is, but the smell tree's in the way. And I didn't feel like tearing it down because I like this room, right? So we could set it outside, but I need a nine by six area. So I was thinking that maybe we could set it right here. Right here, just right here. It's only gonna stick out this far. Set it right up against this wall. Like right here. It's only gonna come out one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only gonna come out to this torch. So you can still walk around it. Or do you think we should put it outside or something? Um, well, it's going to be on all the time, right? this room. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to line it up with that and this torch. And it's got to be, what they say do? Put it one block off the ground. How tall is the thing? Okay, let's go get the blue block. Actually, let's just... I'm going to grab them all. Um, I'm going to give you a thing. Hold on. Oops. All right, so the book says, let's read the Bible. 
the Bible says. Okay, if you. Uh, here we go, previous. Once you have placed all the block, nope, one pack. The factory comes in a different tier, so craft yourself a layout block and place it one block above the ground. And that's this block. So when they say one. What the hell? When they say one block above the ground, do they mean like that? Oh, look at that. But I don't want it I don't want it to high up off the ground, man. Can you see that? That's a little bit too tall. Yeah, but still. What? Sleep. It's not gonna fit in here, dude. I mean, the only way it's gonna fit in here is if we put it like right here. Let's go put it. Yeah, let's just here. I'll just cut. Let's cut these. Let's cut these trees down right here. No, uh, well, I was planning on making another building over there eventually. But this would be. Yeah, put it right here so we we can see it. We can like look down onto it, like right here. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's fine. Uh, actually, that's the back. Yeah, that's the back of it. It needs to be turned around. Look. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. All right, you ready? Oh. What the hell? There you go. All right. Alright, let's do all the white blocks first, since there's like a million of them. What's it doing? What? The frick? I thought I was supposed to put them in place. I didn't want to do it. Is there something you can click on? Oh, maybe the controller. Let's try that. Um, where's the controller go? Does the controller go right here? Um, here, read the book. Ready? Here we go. Uh, once you have placed all, uh, uh, previous, oh, crap. You will need two basic, nope, uh, nope. The factory can so craft yourself a layout block and place it one block above the ground. It will then show which blocks go where in the multi-block. All factories require a number of colored structure blocks. Right-click the layout block to cycle through the different tiers. We did. Once you have placed all the blocks, put the mob factory and mob controller in the place. Right click the mob controller with the captured. Oh, so I guess we gotta do it ourselves, dude. Uh, Alright. Now that we got all those placed, I guess this is the factory block and that is the controller block. We gotta get rid of the the blue block because power's gotta come up from underneath. 
So this is the This is that block. Is this block supposed to be here? No. And then this is this block. And then beside it, we're going to put these upgrades. And you got to go by the tiers first. So this is one. So this one goes like this one. You can see the little yellow squares. It kind of tells you which tier it is. One, two, and then the third one will go on top. And then over here, we need a three, two, and the one. So we'll put that one there. And then that missing block there. I really hate the inventory thing that's going on with this game. And that one there. And then uh, I think you can just I think it just comes out of um Is it the controller? I think you put just put the chest on the top and it comes right out. I'm pretty sure. Which one you want to do first? Let's go big. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Hold on, I gotta turn my thing off. I wish I could get closer. I'll zoom up. Pew. The peeps saw it. Alright, so I guess we just click on this with it. And is it these red ones right here? It's these two red ones go right here and right here where you're standing. Oh, look at this. Sweet. Oh. oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I fell off. Oh my gosh. Why are we getting bones? And wither skeleton skulls. That's the input job oh. used in the fox book. Spawning ender dragons. Spawn one mob every three points. Okay. Uh um just under three minutes. 20 ticks is a second, right? This. Your what? Oh, here you go. <laughs> oh, what's that? What other upgrades can we put on this? Is there speed upgrades? What's this called? Woot. We got XP upgrades. Not worry about that. Looting rate. Oh my God! Are you serious? What about the what about the mass? What? We can't be. Thanks. 
But we're not going to get anything from the weather. Oh, yeah. There's a reason why I can't run fast. It has to do with hunger. <laughs> I keep thinking the wither skeletons, dude. I'm like, because we can't behead them. But we have the will. You, you, you uh, inappropriately touched the wither boss with your with your rainbow colored marbles. So you have to break the controller in order to get the the block out. That's what I read. So, let me make sure. No. Doop, 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 doop. Um, put the mob factory in mob controller. Right-click on the mob controller with the captured mob in the mob prism, and the factory will form. When you break the mob controller, the mob will still be programmed, so you can swap mob controller, uh, swapped mod controller to change between mobs you. So we have to make different controllers? Yep, this mob controller is programmed to the wither boss, or to the ender dragon, so we just need to make another mob controller. And it's not, I think you should have all the pieces in there. Doesn't really say where to put the chest. By default, the inventory must be placed in front of the mob factory. If you find that messy, then have a look at the factory proxy block. In front of it. Well, he's got no power, so. What do you think is going to happen now? You think it's going to spawn one? Oh, we'll go break and put it on there. But is it on or off? No, on the video, is it on or off? So every second is 20 ticks. That's 16 ticks. That's 16 seconds. One mob every 16 seconds. Flip the switch, see what happens. Oh, look, look, it's saying progress. It's saying progress. Did we do speed upgrades? We didn't even do speed upgrades. You might want to record this. It's been recording. <gasps> Open it. <gasps> oh, that's fine. Dragon's breath. And a dragon heart. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to make another uh, solar power. <laughs> yeah, we can just upgrade the big one we have. Um, I show you the other controller, so if you want to do the um the easy with the wither, you just do both. Nether stars? Yeah. And then you can upgrade the other two. Oh, I didn't get a dragon heart this time. Man, we're getting a ton of draconium, though. We can start selling dragon's breath. 
All right, so I break this block and it retains its stuff. Yes. And we're going to put this block on here. Bam! And then we're going to go bam! And it learned the wither. And it's only going to cost a fraction. <laughs> it's like 10 times less. It only costs 16,000. I'm sorry, it only costs 1,600 RF per tick. Yeah, so we could probably turn it on. Oh, look how progress goes up and our power is going up. Oh. Oh, that's bad. What's this? All right, hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So all my farms I did up to now we can make. We can make two sets. We can make backup sets. We can make sets and sell them. Uh, is our is our uh, room chunk loaded? Okay, let's put it in our game room. Game room. I'm gonna put it like right here. Five hundred sixteen. Yay! That's all you ever need. So I think that's okay. Now we can make some. Now we can make uh, angel wings. Night link. Oh, oh. So, oh, we got certified security and security. Sulfur. Don't break it. All this stuff's gonna go everywhere. Got it. And uh, let me know if you like the uh, the cyberware room. Just curious. And uh, we're gonna. I'm actually gonna make the little beacon and go down in our dungeon and uh, start scrapping some people. And see if we can get some more parts. And then next episode, I think I'm gonna let Link make make us our new armor because I'm really curious to see what it looks like. I know. We got stars coming out the ears now. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Until next time, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs>